What's up everyone, iGamer2003, and thanks for clicking on the video. Real quick before we start, I promise I'll make this fast. As you can see on screen right now, more than 50% of the people who watch my videos are not subscribed to me. That means more than half of you won't get updates when I post new videos. So if you find this video helpful to you, make sure to hit like and subscribe so that you'll always be up to date when I post other videos similar to this. Again, thanks for clicking on the video, and now let's actually get to the important part. Hello everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. Today my name is iGamer2003, I guess as it always is. I don't know why I always make that mistake by saying that. But today we are going to be um, installing Optifine, so I'm going to be teaching you how to install Optifine. I'm running Windows 10. Uh, Optifine, I believe, is pretty much the same no matter what system you're running but uh, we're gonna be doing Windows today we're going to be installing it for 1.16 and I want to take a second to deviate over to video analytics for my video on how to install and use Lightmatica uh, apparently a lot of you have found this really helpful I've gotten 30 plus comments on it and at the time of me recording this I have 657 views 34.5 hours of watch time and an additional five subscribers from this one video alone this is the biggest video on my channel right now it's blowing up fast you can see right over here updating live in real time we've had 43 views in the past 48 hours alone that's usually double what i get on any given video i post so this has been insane thank you guys very much back to the actual video now well that was easy wasn't it so uh, let's just hop right into installing Optifine. Optifine is pretty simple. I'm going to go in after we download it. I'm going to show you a couple of the cool features it offers, but today let's uh, get started. So we're going to click downloads here and uh, you'll see Minecraft 1.16 and all releases they have available. Uh, installation, new, old, it's pretty much the same. Uh, if you do not see the version you need for some reason here, make sure to click preview versions up at the top. There's a good chance that the version you need is hiding under this menu. But today we're going to be uh, downloading Optifine. The mirror button, click the mirror button, and click download Optifine. Once you do that, you go to the bottom of the screen. As long as it says Optifine dash the version, you are safe, you are fine. That is the correct file. So make sure to hit the keep and uh, wait for it to download um, my uh, web advisor is scanning it I download Optifine all the time I promise I'm fine anyway here we go so um, we have it downloaded now so what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the arrow I'm gonna show it in folder and you can see my download folder pops up Optifine right here so this is the Optifine I need. So I'm going to double click on it. And as long as you can run jar files somehow, uh, usually it's just Java, uh, this will show up. And uh, let's take a look, Optifine installer. Um, this installer will install Optifine in the Minecraft, in the official Minecraft launcher, and will create a new profile, Optifine, for it. Make sure this goes to your .minecraft, and as long as it does, you can just click the install button. Oh, okay. So I just realized I have never even launched 1.16.2 yet on this computer, so let me go do that. I'll be back once I've done that. Okay, now that I've run what I actually needed to, we should be all set to go. Uh, so let's click install. Optifine is successfully installed. So there we go. We just troubleshooted a problem right there. Make sure you've run the version that you want to install Optifine for. Once you're done, click OK. The whole thing will close out. So now we can uh, head on over to our Minecraft launcher. Pop that open. And uh, if we take a look, we'll see that there is an Optifine section. And it is for Optifine 1.16.2. So if I click on that and click play, uh, you'll notice that we uh, start loading Minecraft. So I'll see you guys in a second once Minecraft's all loaded up and ready to go. Alright, so we're on Minecraft. I'm going to 
I don't know. I'm going to quickly pick a world somewhere. Um, let's go into this Bed Wars map because it's a cool place. Uh, I know what I'm doing. Let's load it. I don't need it anymore. So let's uh, load up this world. And then what I plan on doing is I'm going to show you guys um, exactly uh, how to use some of the awesome features Optifine offers. Okay, so we're in game. Um, I was using this to create thumbnails in Blender, so I was uh, creating Bed Wars thumbnails, and I made a pretty cool one, but unfortunately it's too big. But anyway, we're going to uh, skip that for now. Ignore the skin, it was for a video. <laughs> um, so anyway, uh, if we go into settings, you'll see that uh, video settings has changed drastically. Now, I'm going to be going into a uh, sequel to this, how to install and use shaders. Uh, but you can see I have some installed already. Um, another thing is dynamic lights. Um, so that means if I set it to night and I hold a torch, that it lights up the area around me. So like if I were to go into a cave that wasn't lit for some reason, um, you know, let's say I go, oh, well, I thought that was deeper than it was. Okay, um, here. Let's say I go down here, right? And can I... I'll just place an extra block, just, just for demonstration purposes. Um, so, let's say I go down here, right? And that glowstone doesn't exist, and I block myself in. Well, it's pretty dark, but when I hold this, you know, it lights up like a light, like torches. Um, so, uh, in order to do that, you go into Options, Video Settings, Dynamic Lights right here. So you can either have it off, fast, or fancy. Over here, you get a couple other options as well. You get Quality, Performance, and Other. Uh, quality will give you different textures, kind of just enhance the game a little bit. Um, performance um, are the things that you can... Um, you know, mess around with to boost your FPS, get your performance a little bit better. Um, you know, it's up to you, um, whatever you do. I use some systems, not all. And then, of course, other is a couple other things that you're able to turn on and off so that, um, you know, things are a little bit you know, different in, like, displays, if you want certain displays on or not. Uh, that's pretty much the basics of Optifine. As I said, I'll be going over how to install shaders for 1.16 on Windows. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to smash the like sub. Let's see if this video can get the same amount of support that we got on the other video if that was the case that would be insane anyway thank you guys very much for watching and i'll see you all next time on the channel bye